All right, hey everybody. I am stoked right now to get ready to open this package and get into what's inside. All right, let's get into this. Oh yeah. Here we go, goodies, goodies, goodies. Sheath. Wow, look how this is packed. This is nice. Sweet. Wow. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Uh, sorry, I got really into opening that knife. So, yeah, this is the uh, Battle Horse knives, obviously, and this is the Essiac. Yeah, they uh, Battle Horse knives just had a sale recently, and big shout out because they got this here quick. They just had this sale like on the 13th. Um, I called them up as soon as I heard about it and placed an order for these before they were gone. And I got this one here, the Essiac. It's a sweet blade. I'll have the specs. Wow, the feeling of this thing is amazing. Nice looking blade. Feels awesome in the hand. Super sharp. Nice 90 degree spine right here. This choil, I mean, makes you just hold on to this. You're not letting go. Wow, that is awesome. And, of course, I had to get green micarta scales. And I always get bead blasted. Okay, here's the blade. Nice flat grind. Scales. Fantastic. Well, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get out and test this bad boy. Add it to the rotation. And I chose the flat grind. I really like a full flat grind knife. This is the sheath. Regular style sheath. Same style sheath. Let's get into the second one. Love those green scales. Wow. Here we go. Check it out. The Lumberjack AT. With a saber grind. Feels sharp as crap. Cool. Nice. I really wanted to try this saber grind and compare it to the flat grind. And then I've got another Scandi grind coming. Salt fork is on its way. Feels good. Really comfortable in the hand there. We'll have to see how that does. You can actually go behind it in three finger and it feels like it would really work well with the three finger grip but of course testing is required. Sweet. Okay here's our blade. Almost reminds me of one of my other knives. Check out those green scales. Love it. All right, folks, so that's two sweet knives from Battle Horse Knives. While I am so excited, they had a sale the other day, really good prices. You've got to go over and check out their site, uh, their Facebook page. I'm really excited to get these out in the woods and test them. They feel, this one really feels fantastic. Now, this has the broomstick handle, straight. No finger choil, but I think I could really get back on here and hold this and chop better than this one. And it's got the heft 
and the blade for batoning. Now this clip point here may not be the best for batoning, but it'll allow you to drill out. And again, this is the Battle Horse Knives SEAC. And this is the Lumberjack AT. Okay, folks, that was a quick show and tell. First look of two Battle Horse Knives. This is the SEAC flat grind. This is the Lumberjack AT saber grind. Go check out BattleHorseKnives.com. First impressions, awesome. I really love this SEAC. This Lumberjack AT is more of a beast of a knife, if you know what I mean. Like it can just tear stuff up more. Can't wait to get out and try both of these. Please check out BattleHorseKnives.com. Again, as always, appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment below. If you have a battle horse knives, thank you for watching, and have a good day. Aha! Uh -huh. I bet you said to yourself, no way, he didn't do a paper cut. Alright, we'll check out the lumberjack. That's sharp. Okay, now let's try out the SEAC. See how it does. Okay, felt a little rough maybe. Oh man, this thing feels super sharp though. I'll have to try it out on real shavings and feather sticks. Now nah, she's sharp. Alright, there it is. Paper cut task, folks. Check out battlehorseknives.com.